Tell us about What No Fish, Rachel, because I know uh, of <coughs> all the shows we talked about, it was one that was um, uh, beating hard in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's right. Um, I, I adore it. Uh, what No Fish is a work by Danny Braverman, and it's his family story. Uh, when he was younger, he was given a box, a shoebox, full of pay slips from his great uncle, a very odd gift, and they were stored under the bed. And one day, he, he opened the box and discovered not just hundreds and hundreds of pay slips, but on the reverse of each one was a doodle a doodle that eventually became, over many pay slips, a study of um, an event or something that had happened, presumably in the week in which the pay slip uh, was issued. Danny took these pay slips and has created this story which tells, uh, which tells us as an audience about his uncle's life, his great uncle's life. He was born in the East End of London. He was a member of the Jewish community there. He grew up in quite a poor family. He married uh, the local beauty against the uh, better judgment of her family. They had uh, children and the, the detail of their life is told through the weekly pay slip that he has received. Uh, it was clearly something that started out as a bit of a joke between a young man who is a cobbler and his new bride as he handed over his pay in cash to her at the end of the working week. But over the years, it grew and grew and grew and the detail of the drawings grew and the, uh, the story of his life and what it was to be Jewish in England between the wars and beyond that, the, their personal stories. They have a, a, a son who is autistic, which means something very different in the 50s than, than it perhaps would today. It's, uh, it's such a, um, a, a compelling story, not just because of the intimate insight we have into the family in London over many decades, but because of its universality. And uh, it's, um, it's hard to put your finger on, on what makes it so unique and so funny and so special. But I know that as soon as I saw it, I wanted to tell everybody I knew that, that they had to find their way to this small gem. My parents uh, flew to Melbourne to see it um, when it was at the Malt House. And I knew that when we, uh, that when we were appointed, that this beautifully crafted gem had to be part of our first program. We were incredibly lucky because Danny decided with his director not to perform it anymore, uh, but we, uh, we have been so lucky that he has uh, agreed to be part of our 2017 season.